हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर गिरिराज शर्मा एंड टुडे विल डिस्कस नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ वेंटिलेटर ग्राफिक्स प्रेशर वॉल्यूम लो सो प्रेशर वॉल्यूम लो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट गिव्स सो मच इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट वेंटिलेटर मैकेनिक्स सो इन दिस पार्ट विल सी व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ दिस पीवी लूप एंड दिस विल टेल अबाउट टाइप ऑफ ब्रीथ इट इज ट्रिगर्ड और अनट्रिगर्ड ब्रीथ वी कैन ऑप्टिमाइज द पीआईपी avoid over distension we can optimize the pwp by this graphic we can see auto peep is generating or not and if there is any air leak or any air trapping also we can see if an inadequate flow is there or not that we can see compliance resistance and work, work of breathing so many things we can see here okay so coming to first is type of breath so type of it's like first is the parts parts means here in x axis there will be pressure and y axis will be volume so pressure in centimeter of s2 volume in liter per minute so this pv loop will start from here it will not start from zero this will start from the pwp this part is pwp so here this will start from pwp inspiration is will start with increasing pressure volume will increase with increasing pressure volume is increasing which reaching to the maximum pip this one is the this is the pip maximum pressure has reached pip maximum volume tidal volume it is so this one is the tidal volume after this we'll go to the expiration and we'll come to again to the same point so this is the pwp maximum press pip and tidal volume so we can see here after reaching to this point increase in volume is very rapid by increasing pressure here was slowly volume was increasing slowly after this point there is rapid increase in volume is there so this is called lower inflection point this is the lower inflection point after this frc is optimum that's why compliance is improved that's why volume has increased rapidly during expiration after reaching this point volume is decreasing rapidly so this is the upper inflection point this is lower inflection point this is upper inflection point after upper inflection point volume is decreasing rapidly this line is the this slope this slope of this curve is called compliance line this is the compliance line compliance is the delta v upon delta p lower inflection point upper inflection point compliance line pip tidal volume pwp inspiratory phase and expiratory phase so these are the parts of this graphic so next in this graphic we can see the type of breathe also the breathe is mandatory breathe untriggered breathe or triggered breathe or spontaneous breathe so in positive breathe like mandatory breathe baby is not triggering anything so positive deflection will be there inspiration and expiration this is the mandatory breath what will happen if there is trigger breath triggering by the baby so there will be negative deflection will be there clockwise then it will go to the anti clockwise so first negative deflection will be there in the trigger breath okay so this will give like this appearance if baby is breathing spontaneously then there will be during inspiration will go during negative and then will go positive so clockwise this type of appearance will be there in this graphic next you can see the we can optimize the pip also by this graphic we can prevent the over distension or we can optimize the pip also so we can see here that by increasing pressure volume is increasing after this point volume is increasing rapidly but after this volume is not increasing much so this much increase in pressure there is no increase in volume no sufficient increase in volume so means here over distension is happening after over distension this is the excessive pip so up so this much pip this extra pip is not helping us to increase the tidal volume to increase the frc so this is the over distension this is the, we call beaking also beaking appearance is sign of over distension so we have to decrease the pip so that because this p pressure is waste of there is no increase in the tidal volume so we have to decrease the pip in this case
Next, we can optimize the PWP also by this graphic. So, <clears throat> this is the PWP. So, what is the optimum PWP? Optimum PWP will be that the lower inflection point should be as close as possible to the PWP. So, this point should be close to the PWP point. So, if here we can see that this is the pressure volume curve. By increasing pressure, there is no increase in volume. After later on, after that, it's volume increasing start. So this is so much gap is there. So here we have we can increase the PWP so that FRC will increase, compliance will improve. After that, this point will come closer to the PWP point. So optimum PWP is that lower inflection point should be as close as possible to the PWP. So here we can increase the PWP, we can optimize the PWP by help of this graphic. Next we can see auto peep or air trapping also. So this is the peep. In auto peep what will happen? There is air trapping is happening. So in slowly this PWP will increase. So in we have to see the trend of the graphics. So we can see that here if auto peep is generating then this graph will shift here, here, here. So slowly it will shift again here and then it will go to here then it will go to here so this peep point is shifting to right side so here means auto peep is generating air trapping is happening so we have to increase the e time accelerated to time or we can decrease the pwp also so that we can see the auto peep also in this graph Next, we can see the air leak also in this graphic. So here, this is the inspiratory phase. During expiration phase, this expiratory curve is not returning to the baseline. So here, this expiratory curve has finished here only. It has not returned to the baseline. So this much tidal volume has lost. This much tidal volume is lost. So this much leak is there. So some air leak is there. Some peritable leak is there. That's why this expiratory curve is not returning to the baseline. So by this graph we can see the air leak also. Next we can see the flow adequacy also. If their flow is adequate or flow is inadequate. So if flow is inadequate, so in this PV loop we can see some scooping pattern will be there on the inspiratory curve. This is the inspiratory curve during inspiration because flow is not adequate flow, ventilator flow, inspiratory flow is not adequate. That's why we will try to gas pair so that this scooping pattern will be seen here. So this shows the inadequate flow. If flow is more inadequate, flow is very less. So it can appear like figure 8 appearance. Figure 8 appearance will be seen here because baby will try to inspirate the flow. That will create the figure 8 appearance. So these things, these two graphs shows that flow is inadequate, we have to increase the inspiratory flow. Next coming to the compliance, by this graphic we can assess the compliance of the lungs also and before surfactant and after surfactant what is the change in compliance that also we can see here. So we can see here even preterm baby with RDS, this PV loop is there, in this PV loop we can see that PV loop is very like horizontal. Because compliance is poor, lungs compliance is poor. So delta V upon delta V. This slope is very horizontal. This is after surfactant. After surfactant, compliance has improved. So PV loop has shifted to the left side. So this become more vertical. So here this compliance has improved. This is the slope. So this compliance has improved after surfactant. So that we can assess by this graphic. Next we can see the resistance also. So resistance is in increasing or not that we can see by this graphic. So this is the inspiratory curve, expiratory curve. So this is the compliance line. This will tell about inspiratory resistance, this one and this will tell about expiratory resistance. So in inspiratory resistance, if this curve is shifting to this right side, this belly is going to the right side means inspiratory resistance has increased. So blue one is the normal resistance, black one is the increased inspiratory resistance. Here expiratory, blue one is the normal resistance, here 
increase expiratory resistance okay this resistance is the <coughs> this is the resistive work of breathing this is the elastic work of breathing during expression elastic work of breathing so here is inspiratory resistance has increased because curve has shifted to the right here expiratory resistance is increased because curve has shifted to the left so this is this has become more wider so like in bpd babies resistance will increase so this curve will become more wider so that we can assess that resistance is increasing baby is going to the bpd or some mas cases also if airway resistance is increasing that this graph will become wider next we can assess the work of breathing also so during inspiration this is the this one will tell area under the curve this one will tell about inspiratory work of breathing resistive work of breathing during expression this whole thing will tell expiratory or elastic work of breathing and area under the total curve this one will tell total work of breathing during full respiratory cycle this area under the curve will tell about total work of breathing so so many things we can see by the pressure volume loop this is second most important loop after this uh, flow time curve so this loop also we can keep on the ventilator screen in next class we'll discuss about the flow volume loop thank you